So Foundation Communities, we bought uh, the Sierra Ridge Apartments 23 years ago and it was run down. It was a lot of gang activity, 20% of the apartments were not, you couldn't live there. And over the years we fixed them up and I think it was in 1994, we, we'd done a lot of resident organizing and we asked in surveys and at meetings, you know, what do you, what can we do more? What could we do to enhance the community? And the number one thing we, we heard loud and clear was um, do something with these kids. Uh, kids after school would walk home from St. Elmo Elementary and there was nothing going on. What a powerful opportunity we've got during this after school time to uh, not just provide a safe place for the kids, but also help them with their homework and physical fitness. And before long we had you know, 40 kids crammed into that space. Um, we quickly realized we, the major architectural flaw of that building was, uh, was too small. In a few months now, so we're going to open up the new Sierra Vista Learning Center. It'll serve families from both Sierra Ridge and Sierra Vista. We, we think of them as sort of one community uh, around St. Elmo. Uh, the building's about 7,500 square feet. We have six classrooms, a uh, bunch of office spaces, a uh, bigger kitchen. One thing we're proud of in every learning center we've built is we, we hire an interior designer, we get great new furniture. We want the building to shine and create a learning environment that's rich and a sense of pride. Um, we don't want it to be some drab, secondhand furniture, worn out space. So this design, both the exterior is attractive and you know as you drive into the middle of the property, that's the learning center building. Um, and then the interior is just really functional and attractive and um, conducive to building the kind of community and learning that we want. I'm really excited about Power 10 campaign because we need new furniture for this brand new learning center. Uh, we also are putting in a new playground and we're at the end of our renovation budget. We're asking for small donations and because they all add up and the hope is that if we can have a thousand people give ten dollars, a pretty modest sum, um, that covers our furniture costs and the books and the supplies and iPads and materials that, that make that learning center work.